You're probably already familiar with the concept of arraying objects in AutoCAD LT, arranging them in regular patterns either based on columns and rows, or rotating them about a point. In AutoCAD LT 2012, this command has received a major upgrade. Now, arrayed objects maintain their relationship with one another, so it's easy to add or remove columns or rows for rectangular arrays, adjust the fill angle for polar arrays, or change the spacing of objects. Contextual ribbon tabs, along with multifunctional grips, make it clear which options are available. You don't lose any flexibility with this new associativity either. You can easily replace individual items in the array, or remove others, and you can always explode the array if you need to get back to the component parts. As long as the array remains associative, though, you can use the Edit Source option to modify each item in the array without redoing any of your previous work. There's also a brand new option for arrays called Path. This enables you to place items along an object like a polyline or spline, specifying either the total number of objects or the distance between them. With the Base Point option, you can offset your objects next to their path while maintaining their associativity. If you modify the path object, the array updates as well.